know if you can see it through this camera, but I mean, it looks awesome on this screen. Whatever game this is, I want to play it. <laughs> Hey guys, Ninjas are real here. All right, this time we got Windows 10, the technical preview loaded up on the iMac 5K, and I'm gonna run some benchmarks from the Windows 10. I uh, loaded this up using Boot Camp, so here we go. All right, and uh, right here to the right, I have the scores from the OSX, Geekbench, Novabench, Cinebench, Uni Unigen Engine, Heaven, and um, so we can compare the different scores. All right, let's run Geekbench. And Geekbench actually crashes. I tried several things to get this working, but it won't work, so we can't run Geekbench. Let's check out Novabench. Novabench does run. Pull this out a little bit. It's kind of hard to see it, so when the scores come up, I'll type them over here to the right. All right, we're running the Novabench test. Loading point operations. Integer operations, and um, I've already run this test a few times, and the results are pretty awesome compared to the OS X and compared to other computers. It's pretty. This computer rate's pretty high. All right, now it's doing the graphics test, and I'm wondering if um, I guess it uses DirectX when you're in Windows instead of OpenGL, and maybe it uses OpenGL, but gets a really high frames per second. It was just hitting 2,000 frames per second in that little graphics test. All right, now here's the results. It actually got an 1896. Now I've, I've reached over 1,900, let me show you. I, I already hit a 1913 the first time I ran the test. And compared to the Mac, so now the Windows got 1913 compared to the 1413 and then for the CPU it got a 904 which that's actually less than the OS X then for the graphics it got 730 which is way higher I mean that's a lot higher I don't, that's awesome and then it got 1944 for the frames per second versus 593 so on the Windows side with this benchmark the graphics shows much better and now if you look at the results online it shows the Mac Pro as having a 1687. So this computer got 1913. So it beats that. But now on OS X side, it's less. Not sure why. Maybe this would be better. And if you look at top CPUs, within the top 10, the CPU registers between 904 and 963. So about right here, it would hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's in the Top seven for CPUs and then for GPUs, 730 would be somewhere around here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So about number 11, top 11. So that's pretty awesome compared to other computers. It's a pretty awesome computer. All right, let's go to the next benchmark. All right, now I'm going to run Cinebench see how it works. So it got 106 frames per second on OS X and a 770 for the CPU. Let's see if it's similar to Nova Bench and gets higher ratings. Accept the agreement. Let me run it. All right, it's preparing. And I have the desktop resolution right now set to 2500 to 2.5K. looks pretty clear uh, for some reason Windows the background or whatever it doesn't look as clear as OS X when you're in OS X I'm not sure why but the games still look really awesome on it once you get into the games I guess the desktop that I have pulled up is in a 5k image and Apple stuck a whole bunch of 5k images for the background of OS X so it's super clear so cars bashing into each other Cinema 4D. All right, let's see what it gets. All right, got 119, and it had 106 on the OS X. Now the first time I ran this thing, it actually got 131. 
I don't know if I have something running right now or I need to clear something, but it, it's actually hit 131. But still, either way, say it gets 120, that's faster than on the OS X. Now let's check the CPU, see how it does. Let's do another quick test. It's interesting that the CPU on the Nova Bench ranks less and the graphics is ranked higher. I wonder what's different about the operating systems. And the drivers I'm using are from Boot Camp. So it's the AMD drivers and the, the different drivers, you know, that Apple, that OS X had set up. I didn't go install the brand new drivers for anything. And the video card, and here's the M295X, so it's a very new card. Alright, it's almost finished. Alright, the CPU got an 805 and it got an 813 last time I ran it, so it's actually higher than OS X also. Interesting. Alright. Close this benchmark and run another one. Alright, I'm gonna run the Heaven benchmark now. The Unigen. This thing is so tiny, I can hardly see it. I'm going to change the screen resolution to 1080 HD. And, um, so I can see this better. Alright, it's on DirectX 11, Ultra Extreme, Anti-Aliasing 8x8, full screen, and resolution 1920 by 1080 I'm just going to keep it at that and see how well it does. I mean, it's going to look awesome. At, with the ultra settings on full screen, so. Let's see how it runs. Yeah, that looks amazing. It's getting 23 frames per second right now. 24. Let's see, I'll click, um, I'll click to do benchmark and I won't make you watch the whole thing, but I'll edit some different pieces in. So right now it's getting 23 frames per second. I mean the image quality is just unbelievable though. It's pretty awesome. This benchmark really pushes the computers to the limits. It's getting um, it's actually showing 57 in the upper right corner right now. But in the bottom right corner it's at 30, 30 frames per second. Looks awesome. All right, I'm gonna forward it to the end for you. The image quality on this benchmark is just amazing. And the graphics, it's really cool looking. It's extremely realistic. I don't know if you can see it through this camera, but I mean, it looks awesome on this screen. Whatever game this is, I want to play it. <laughs> Alright, it's on scene 14 out of 26. Alright, it's coming to the end of the benchmark. It's on scene 23 out of 26. It's hitting 30 frames per second right now. The minimum frames it hit was 7, and the max frames it's hit has been 67.9. Still looks super awesome. Scene 25 out of 26, it's almost over. It's hitting 33. And that's it. All right, so the final results of the Heaven Benchmark, it scored a 795, which is about 91 points higher than the OS X, and it got a 31.5 frames per second, which is higher than the OS X. But I, I may have tested it at a higher resolution. I just ran it at 1920 by 1080. I don't remember what I had it set on, but I mean, it must it might have been similar. Anyway, so this one scored a little bit higher, but this was on ultra quality extreme tessellation really pushes the computer hard and so 30 frames per second is pretty good all right well that's it for the benchmarks it was the same for 
uh, ran on the OSX side. Hope you guys like this video. Hope this helps you out. Ninjas are real. Out of here. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and click the like button if you liked it. Thanks a lot. Later.